It's the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by WJER Sports in partnership with Smartway Communications, Sugar Valley Meats, and Williams Floor Covering. And I want to welcome you into week number eight in high school football, Willie Grove, along with Coach Dan Ift. And uh, week number eight, week number seven is going to go down as a, a good night in this season, Dan. You made the longest trip of the year mm-hmm. and you came home uh, pretty happy. Tell me what you, after a couple of days of thinking about it, what what's the takeaways from that game? Well, it, we, we have to keep that energy level up, Willie. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, we got to get back on, on track this week again and, and get ready to play a Boardman squad that, you know, somebody say, well, their record's not real good, but their schedule has been brutal. They've played some tremendous football teams. So, uh, you know, in their normal schedule, they're probably more like a six and one team than a mm-hmm. one and six team. They're, they're going to be all that, uh, all that we can handle and deal with, but uh, we got to keep the energy level up. That was a big difference. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, our kids came to life, and uh, they kind of, like we said, they got lost in the fight. They got lost in the battle and quit worrying about outcomes, and uh, and they had a lot of fun. You might have had a little bit to do with that, didn't you? Right Just a little bit. I, I think I lost. Uh, I, I probably got as um, I don't want to say as angry, but uh, as vocal uh, as I've been on the sidelines in several years. Uh, just because I was tired of watching what I was watching. I knew they mm-hmm. were better than that. Uh, and lo and behold, they, for whatever reason, uh, they, they caught fire. I don't, I'm not saying I was the reason, but um, sometimes when you, you get a little bit more vocal, um, they respond. And uh, this time they did. Hopefully they keep that going because I don't know how much more juice I got <laughs> in me. But no, that was, uh, that was, very, uh, that was very, very needed. Three facets to the game, offense, defense, special teams. Right. Um, I don't know if you could give one over the other on Friday night. Our defense put pressure on the quarterback. Um, a defensive player's dream, intercepting the ball, taking, yeah. especially for defensive line. That's key. Mm-hmm. And then offense, uh, we had to be really efficient because we, we picked up some first downs and, and we scored the ball. We did, and uh, there were a number of uh, number three and outs, and and that really helps when you go three and out, and your offense is back on the field, especially after a score. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you know a, a couple of uh, turning points. One was uh, certainly when Zane Connor picked off that pass and and took it in for the for the touchdown. That was that was pivotal. Um, you know, so you know they they kind of all those parts blended together and married each other, so to speak. You know, our kicking yeah. game was superb, and uh, you know we did what we needed to do there, kicking off, and Jamison Marlat putting it in the end zone, probably four out of six times or whatever yeah. many times we kicked off, uh, and you know the punting. Uh, Sean did a great job when we had to punt, which was only a few times, a couple times I believe, and then uh, Caden handling all their punts, as, you know, as they punted. So we didn't lose a lot of that hidden yardage. You know, we had that that yardage going for us. Well, you talked about this week's opponent. It's Boardman, twenty-two and six combined on four of those oppo- opponents. Right. If we say Kenston, we say Lake. Yes. You say uh, Youngstown Mooney. Yeah. Those are some of the losses on their schedule. So yeah. uh, you can't take them for granted. Can no, you? no, and they played Riverside too, who's undefeated. Yes. And gave them a whale of a battle up there. Now, I've got that film, and that's the film that's kind of scary because uh, you see what they can do. They have, a, they have athletes. Uh, they've got good size. Coaches in a second year up there trying to, trying to turn the program, so to speak. And you see indicators that way. Uh, but like I said, when you play the people they've played, I mean, there, there's a number of games they scored over, over 20 points. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and, you know, when you play the Riversides and people of that nature, they have those capable offenses as well. So uh, it, it's going to be a battle here at, at, this, at, the, at the Brick House. So, you know, we better buckle them up real tight. Dan, thanks for the win Friday night, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Willie. Coach Dan Ift of the Dover Tornadoes, and that has been Coach's Corner here on WJER. This has been the Coach's Corner Show for WJER Sports. Brought to you by Smartway Communications, Sugar Valley Meats, and Williams Floor Covering.